بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف الأنبياء والمرسلين محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا أما بعد Brothers and sisters, my dear friend and nephew, Abu Bakr Ahmad, sent me a very interesting video about this guy whose uh, his work is, he is in the Everglades in Florida and he is catching invasive species. So, lizards, geckos, uh, different kinds of reptiles. He's got a video of a, uh, a crocodile, which is again uh, an invasive and a foreign species here. And he says he's looking for a 20-foot python, because pythons also are uh, a foreign species. People get them as pets. And uh, then they discover that what they have is bigger and more than they can handle. And then they, in the most irresponsible way, they just let it go in the bush. And of course, the either the animal dies of starvation because it doesn't have anything to eat, or in the case of predators, um, they have no control and uh, nothing that eats them. And so they proliferate, they breed and then we have major hassles. So now, point is that this guy, young, young fellow, he's, he, he does this, he catches lizards, geckos, whatnot, and he makes videos. And obviously, I'm sure he makes a lot of money doing that because he's got some huge number of followers and I'm sure he monetizes that on TikTok and various things. The reason I'm telling you this is not to ask you to do the same thing, although if you do it, it might be useful. Uh, but to point out a very simple thing, which is that our life is really in our own hands. The unfortunate thing that we do with our education, or what we call education, is we promote dependence. We delay childhood. We delay adulthood. We prolong childhood and we delay adulthood. We don't allow people to grow up. So people remain children long after they have any right to be called a child. But we do that to them. The result of that is that we have this completely insane situation of business schools who call themselves business schools and who give you an MBA degree and at the end of that they also have a placement cell a placement department, which helps you find a job. Now, my, co- my point is, if you are a business person, a businessman, a businesswoman, my understanding of it, and I went to a business school, I went to the best in the country, in India, and I have an MBA from there. My point is, that if you are a businessman, then you are in the job, you are in the business of job creation. You're not in the business of of job searching. So why on earth do you have a placement, job placement wing in your business school? This is the problem. This is the this is the huge problem of education, the way we seem to have uh, corrupted it and, and changed it. It doesn't fulfill its own stated purpose. So I'm saying to all of you guys, out there who are looking for jobs. Stop looking for jobs. Stop looking for jobs. Instead, start creating jobs. For that, just two things are required. One is to understand and accept that your life is your own. Because believe it or not, many people, if not a lot of people, if not all people, seek jobs because they want what they call job security. So you think that if you, if you, if somebody hires you and is paying you a monthly salary, that your life is secure because this person is going to pay you that salary until he, you drop dead or he drops dead, whichever is first. Now that is the biggest fallacy in the world. I know you don't say that to yourself 
consciously, but that's the thing behind it. Job security, which you want somebody else to give you. In life, there is career security. There is career security, which is based on your competence, on the competence that you develop. There's no job security. You will get chucked out of your job faster than you can imagine if you are no longer relevant, if you are no longer competent. And your competence and relevance depends on what you do, not on what your boss does. And if you are relevant and competent, then you become a job potential job creator and not a job seeker. And that's the way to go. The way to go is to be a job creator by developing competence. So find something you like to do. Do it. Enjoy it. And find a way of monetizing that. And in today's world, that is the easiest thing to do. Absolutely the easiest, easiest thing to do. So what's up again? We need creativity. Imagine this guy is in the Everglades in um, Florida and he is catching lizards. Right? And he makes money with that. He catches lizard, lizards, he makes videos of, of him catching lizards. He has a nice funny way of explaining things while he is talking and he is making money. It's not rocket science. He didn't make the lizard, he didn't make the Everglades, he didn't make the, 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 the uh, phone on which he is taking his, uh, his, his video, making his video. He's just using what is available to him and is available to all of us. He's using what every single one of us can use. Now, I'm not sending all of you off into the Everglades to catch lizards. I'm just saying, look around yourself and say, what is it I can do? And how can I not just make a living? Anything makes a living. But do something which you enjoy, which is beneficial, which is something that, you know, you like to leave behind as a legacy and which also makes money. It is very simple. It requires that. This is where the issue of tawakkul comes in because when we make this effort and then we make dua Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say, Ya Rab, this is what I'm doing. This is your dunya. Give me my rizq through this. And then see how it comes. See how it comes. Connect yourself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jala jalalu. Use the creativity that He gave you. Use the intelligence He gave you. And find your own destiny. Believe me, that way you will be far more secure in your life than the security that any job can give you. Because entrepreneurship is the route to security. It's not job seeking. It's not running behind people to help you to do this and do that. It is entrepreneurship. So see what you love. Go around, reflect, experiment. And as long as it's legal and moral, that's all you need. Make sure that the thing is legal and moral. You don't want to be in trouble with Allah and you don't want to be in trouble with the authorities of this world. But at the same time, that's it. There is no other limitation on you. So go ahead and live your life in a way that you spend your whole life doing something that you would have paid to do. And instead of you paying to do it, somebody is paying you to do it. Isn't that fun? That's the way. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jala to help us to learn the right things. Just because you went to the standard education system which killed your creativity or tried to kill your creativity, it doesn't never get skilled. It gets dampened. But, you know, it's up to you to uh, rejuvenate it. Not resurrect it because it's not dead. But rejuvenate it. And go ahead. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us to do and live our lives in a way which is pleasing to him and which becomes a beacon of guidance for ourselves and others.
وصلى الله على نبي الكريم وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين برحمتك يا رب العالمين